I can. Can you give her a squeezy ball just to be, be, be safe? Hi guys, it's Dr. Emmer in West Hollywood, California. And I have a beautiful patient here today. Listen, I always tell people, most cosmetic treatments, unless there's some issue that you have, should be preventative and a maintenance. And my patient here just wants some facial shaping. She wants youthfulness. She wants to feel, you know, just enhanced. Everybody gets, a little, you know, a little tired looking or they start to notice the skin kind of coming down as we age. So we're just going to do some small enhancements. Um, we call this facial sculpting um, I, or anatomical contouring. And basically what we're doing is just doing lifting and defining of certain areas um, of her face. She already has a nice cheek elevation, so we're gonna give her a little bit more definition. Gonna tighten a little bit and give some lifting in the temple area. This area is called the OG curve. That's a sign of beauty in most people when they look at clinical studies. And then we're also going to elongate the chin a little bit, just soften it so we give the illusion of a heart-shaped face. So this has to be moved, you guys. You have to move that laser. Move that, please. Give me one sec. We're just gonna move the little device over. Thank you. All right. So you see here, we're gonna use, we did a little defining already. And we're gonna use a cannula. If you take a look here, it's long, but it's blunt ended. It doesn't hurt the system, it doesn't hurt the skin. So there's very minimal pain when we do the treatment. It's a little weird feeling at first. How would you describe it? Pinch? Oh, I can hardly feel it at all. Here, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So it's more nerve wracking than anything because yes. when it's your face, you worry about what somebody's doing to your face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're just nice, nicely shaping. You see I'm following right along her zygoma. When she smiles, smile. We follow a line from the edge of her, of her lip all the way to the ed upper surface, uh, upper point of her ear. And we just give a little bit of volume. It always looks, I always tell people, always looks a little more swollen now. Everyone freaks out a little bit. And then three to four days later, they say, oh, I wish it was that same volume <laughs> afterwards. And they want more. But... You know, we're avoiding too much of her direct mid face because she already has a nice volume there. We'll do um, what I call some lifting, a little bit of lifting filler. So that's perfect there for the lateral cheek. So now we're gonna switch it over to the Now we're gonna do a little bit more anatomical so instead of lateral, she already has a beautiful, you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Relax, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make sure, relax, good. We're just gonna do a little bit of lifting on the bone. So this is very small amounts, okay? And this you don't wanna overdo because you just wanna give her some subtle elevation. And that's really it. And then one more into the deep fat pad to give her some volume under the eye. And that's perfect for the cheek area now. Okay, very minimal, almost no bleeding at all. Okay, come over here, good. So again, studies show if you go really, really slow and you take it easy, And the chance of bruising or swelling is very minimal. Same thing all along the bone, just nothing crazy. Just a small amount and then one more into the fat pad. Perfect. Good. I'm going to hold that there. No, you're great. We got you. We got you. You, don't, you relax. You don't have okay, to do good. anything. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. And then what we're going to do is she has what all the women want is that heart-shaped look where they have like a, a kind of a nice structured chin, not wide, just more projected. So we're just gonna place a teeny, teeny bit in the center to balance it, it's very minimal. But it's unbelievable what this actually does for the look of somebody's face.
West Africa. West <laughs> Africa. Wow. That's unbelievable. Okay. So now I'm going to balance what we did with the cheek to the temple. And we're just going to be very careful because when people have thinner faces, you're going to feel a little pinch. One, two, three. They also have very thin skin, so we don't want to damage any blood vessels. We go nice and slow. We're right along the bone. Now, the interesting thing is this is a very safe area. The one thing I always tell people is it feels and sounds weird. You may feel like there's liquid going into your brain, but there's not. You're totally protected and safe. There's no blood vessels here. The one thing I do tell people is we go through a muscle of chewing. So if you feel any pain tomorrow when you're chewing, just know it's from the temple. Perfect. That's there. Good. Everything's good here. Almost no bleeding, you guys. You see? Everything looks really, really good. I'm doing great. Turn a little bit here. Everything's fine. Another little pinch. One, two, three. Weird feeling again. Doing great. So this is going to give not only volumization here, but lift to her brow. And all women want a little elevated brow. They love that. I think it looks really pretty too. But the look right now is a little thicker horizontal brow for some reason. We'll see how that fad goes. Perfect. Great. Doing great. And no rush, I always tell people to take your time. So now what we're gonna do is just a little bit on to balance the cheek on her jaw. So relax a sec, hold up higher up there. Oh, here it goes. Now right here you see she's got a nice definition. So all we want to do is just highlight it slightly. Nothing crazy. We're just gonna do a little bit along the jawline at this 90 degree angle. And you'll see what an impact this will have. see that just creates that illusion of that 90 degree along her jawline. Let's go to the other side. And that's going to balance a nice high cheekbone now. So you can see here the 90 degree elevation. We just do a small little bit depot injection right here. And this filler is very soft. So it balances this area really nicely. It will look like nothing was done. Of a beautiful contoured lateral jawline. And that's really good for a thin woman because it gives her more definition. So we just blend just a little bit. Perfect. Last two spots. You're almost done. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do the rest of it. I'm gonna do a little more to the chin, so let's relax a sec. Let me see the chin. Good, same thing, just a little pinch, just to balance a little bit more. Go to the other side. Look at me straight. Look up with your chin a little bit. I just want to follow the angle so this side's a little different than the other. So we're just trying to balance both sides of her chin. It's not going to widen or anything. Great. Perfect. Perfect. I needed you to smile so that was good. <laughs> you could see nice elevation. The one thing I want to point out here is when now we want to soften around. So that's the typical way someone would inject a chin, but we do shaping. So we're gonna go to the fat pads above the chin, just give a little bit, weird sensation, but this gives support to actually the lip even. It makes the lip look better too, okay? We're also gonna give support to her folds at the same time, just a small amount, because again, we wanna do more shaping rather than line filling, but this hydrates the skin, so it's gonna look really nice. Let's do that on the opposite side, we're almost done. Finally. So I don't want her to feel tortured. All the needle pokes. I'd be nervous too. It's 
just softening. And then the last component is what, what is I that? call the finishing touch, which is fine line and under eye. So we do, we're just gonna do a very small bit to the under eye with a soft filler Bellatero. Because it looks really natural and it will soften the discrepancy. But you always gotta go laterally as well. Good, okay. Over here, Michaela, good. And this is all blending. So deep breath, you're doing fantastic. Now sometimes we use cannula, sometimes we use needle. In this case, I'm doing a little bit of both because I want to really fine tune her eye area. It's almost done. And also fine tune the fine lines. Let's show her. Now, obviously, I always tell people, you guys, you don't see the result of filler. I mean, you do. You did good. Okay. You, you don't see the result, <laughs> and you do immediately. But the contouring and the shaping with volume and and the way in which that um, fluid is held and stuff. So let her sit up. Pull okay. that on your on here. And let's point out what we did. Okay. Because right now you're gonna look a little swollen, especially uh -huh. around the eyes. Lifting laterally in the cheek area, uh -huh. temple area, and brow. Mm -hmm. Softening of all the lines around the mouth, and projection of the chin. Give you a little 90 degree in the jawline, and then uh -huh. some softening on the eye. What do you think? Right it now it's great. swollen and everyone yeah. gets nervous. And yeah, but, but like you said, it kind of looked nice when it's a little swollen. Right, but I also <laughs> like when people are moving and seeing themselves and seeing the elevation because with you, it's not a lot we need to do. It's just balancing. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like we have more of an angled look and we finally have some definition on the jawline. Yeah. So that's it. So that's facial shaping. And in two weeks, she's going to be smiling and happy. It's just <laughs> a little nerve wracking experience to get a lot of needle pokes, you know? Yes. Okay, bye guys. Thank you. Yeah. It's a